The palm swell. Yeah, no, I know. That's kind of tie. That was a big part of it for me is because I spend all my time at the bottom of the act. To be honest, I do. Because, like, to hold it and, like, you, like, get other brands. Yep. And it's just, like, it's almost like the back is, you're almost holding it too much. I know, right? To, like, focus on actually the task at hand. That's it. Hey, you got to put your shoes on if you're going to work. You go put your shoes on properly. Thank you, sir. But, yeah, it's just... Look at Ty go. Ty likes to work. When this when this character came to me, he was uh, we called him Boston. He'll have that down in a minute. Look at him, wood chips flying. He just loves it. But on a serious note, it's nice in the hands, isn't it? Oh, like yeah. That was no effort. No. Zero. So we're gonna knock a few of these off, friends. Here. Uh, I got the 2100. Do you know what Tyler got? Tyler, talk to these people. You run your mouth for a minute. Tell, tell them what you got here. Well, you know, it's it's September, but it must be December or something because it must be Christmas. Well, look what he's got, friends. Because, like, Husqvarna 572. Yeah. Brand new off the shop. Brand new. Shout out to who? Johnny Walker. Walker Saw Shop. That's right. 21 inch bar. 28. 28, sorry. Brand new chain. Skip tooth chain. So the, actually friends, I'll, I'll be quite frank. I mean, this is my good buddy, Tyler. We call him the stone man. Now there's a long history with me and him and I'm so excited that we're hooked back up. He, that is the, if you want my opinion uh, on a power saw, brand new power saw. Oh, uh, he, uh, this is the setup, 28 inch bar and well, put, line the bar up on that fur there, Ty. Like up side. Yeah. It's bigger than the bar. Quite a bit bigger than the bar. So we're going we're gonna to test this little saw right now. You got your earplugs? Oh, you're going to need your earplugs, young fella. So this is a Give stock you okay with that? 372, friends. I'm actually very excited right now. Look at Tyler. He's already he's going. He's getting excited now. Now you got rocks underneath there, so we'll make sure we get those out of there. This is it. We'll watch him. We'll let him go. We won't say nothing to him yet. You got that. Oh, look at this guy go. Okay. I'll go get the 2100. Cool. Friends, very quick interjection. Welcome. The sun is here. It's the first day of fall. I am not... I'm not... I'm not losing my opportunity to get my vitamin D. Every morning she's getting a little cooler. These cushions were, were dew wet yesterday morning. Dew wet. You know the dew? They're not today. So that means it warmed up a little bit. So I'm just going to sit here and do my thing, build my video, and off to the next one. Um, friends, I want to share more Tyler with you. I want to also walk you through his property on some stories I found in the bush there, just in the back where we fell that big fur. It's incredible to me, and I know there's people on this channel that will appreciate it. It's a story of the men who walked through there on the first cut, friends. The first cut. Seriously, the very first cut. About 120 years ago. Yeah. It's amazing to me. There's springboards in the fur. They're hard to find in the fur. The bark was so deep on this tree it barely got into the, to the cambium. Look, and it got burnt. This is just so neat to me. Because the fur, the, the cedar bark is thin, whereas the fur bark's like this. So some of the springboard, you can just see where it went through the, the bark and into the cambium. Anyways, I am gonna share that with you. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you'd like to see. I did it yesterday, as a matter of fact, I went up. So anyways, let's get back into the video. I just wanted to say hello and good morning and welcome to the channel. To the newcomers, we love yous. Uh, check this man out and get back on this saw, friends. This is what he lived on. A 372 with a 28-inch bar. So now it's a 572. Watch this man go. It's fun. Now just full squirt. Oh, yeah! Warm up. Hey, you excited? Yeah, 
So he he he, okay. he bought this piece of property, friends. It's a dear dear friend of mine. So I taught this man how to run saw years and years ago. But I, I have not seen him run a saw forever. Give me that freaking thing. Congratulations. Isn't that nice? Whoa! Yeah. See, friends, so... I mean, that's all you... That's Friends, that's all you ever need. Like, like... It, it, 70 cc... Now, Ty, fire that up and do some tip work on this big limb. Show these folks what's going on. Ty's been running saw. Did I teach you how to run saw years ago? Oh, yeah. I taught you this stuff years ago. That's it. Never fired a chainsaw, nothing, so I can't work for you. That's right. So, show these guys what you learned. Friends, this is a super cool on-the-fly exercise. I haven't seen this man run soft for years. I taught every fellow that came and worked with me. I put him on a 28-inch bar. That was the size of bar I threw him on. 32s were there, but most guys for their height. Look at Tyler. Notice his back. See how he uses his feet? That wood's teeny. See what he's doing? 
got his foot on there, his back as straight as a whistle. There he goes. See that? Your back was straight the whole time. Where am I going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going for a fall. I like it. And like, I've what, 12 years? I've well, you up out of the game for 12 years, and it's just yeah. When you got a teacher that teaches you the tricks of the trade, it just that's well, and that's what happens. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, Ty. You just said a very important thing here, and I'm not saying hey, hey, yay for Buck and Billy Ray. I taught this kid how to run. So I mean, it all depends on who, not kid, man. But I mean, you were a young man when you came to me. I was a kid, yeah. How old were you? I was 30. Just turned 30. Exactly. Yeah. But not really, you weren't a power saw guy. At all. I was fat out of shape. <laughs> like, like I am now, but like. No, but you're. Yeah. You, you. But didn't know the true meaning of working. <clears throat> like, this. But you, you just, this, this is why friends, I'm, I, I'm so proud of this dude. Like he didn't have two kids, he had nothing. He says to me the other day, he phones me and says, Buck and I got these trees, are you still cutting trees? I said, oh yeah. I came the next day I came, <laughs> yeah, I came, yeah, I came. I was here and I started talking with him. He's like, well, you're not gonna do it right now, are you? I said, yeah, I am. Fire up your tractor. So yeah, she's on the here ground. And he says, so I'm having flashbacks. I taught this guy how to run saw and what we do here with the longer bars. And and you saw him, he, he just, the way he goes, you know, uh oh, now what is he doing? I don't know, but like, it was funny because we'd go do tree work during the day. And then after tree work with me and this other skinny kid, we'd go and like just split firewood for fun. You guys actually split a lot of wood back in the day. Oh yeah. So this is this is a big see see Boston's actually he's strong. Boston's very strong. Different than the mall, isn't it? Oh yeah. See what he's coming in on an angle like that, friends? You see what he's doing? It's not his first picnic. Look at him. See what he's doing here? Looks like Ty's almost been watching the channel a little bit here lately. Oh, look at him. I talked this. Talk to me about that freaking ax. Like it, on that mall, don't get me wrong, the mall works. Too heavy, too awkward to hold. Always wants to pull away from you. This ax handle, like, all day long. Like, you should want to just keep working with a tool. Ty's got the, the angle swing. You see what he's doing there? Like a, a an ape. But it's not my axe, so I don't want to wreck it. And I know, and you're, you're actually, it. well, yeah, but you're doing good. You'll see a lot of guys, they'll just go at it and start swinging. And so, friends, off. I just dug out from the back our third axe that we're, uh, there's, so that leaves 12 left. We've sold, just a minute, where is it? Oh, matter of fact, no, that's it. That's the high boy. Uh, the high boy. Listen to me. Oh, actually, that one's up for grabs. That's a that, that is actually probably the biggest axe here. This is a five pound uh, Tasmanian pat. It's scary splitting axe. I showed this on the live feed the other day. Okay, that 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 right. That's a bucket handle. Buck and Billy Ray handle. That that is a monster, freshly made. Um, that axe is up. Uh, as well that's part of the package where's the other one so friends most of you know that i'm gonna fix up the crew cab and uh i wish i could just send it off somewhere and do it but that's not reality here um we've decided to do 15 axes so if you're wondering what that verbiage was on the screen there we're doing 15 axes there's 12 left three have sold and it's all being done on email. We're not, we're not doing, I'm not doing auctions or off to the highest bidder or, or something like that. I don't have Facebook. I'm not doing any of that stuff. It's strictly done on email. And if, if you're interested, this isn't for everyone, but there's 15 axes that are going to be always linked to the resto of this, this crew cab truck. And it'll be part of the channel. So if that is an interest, uh, you can get us at, at Christine at buckandbillyray.com and she will be looking after it. There you go. There's, we know it's going to go there. You hit here, Tyler, and I'll hit here. We'll get this right in half in two pulls each.
See? It's because it's because of the, the crap. There you go. That's it. Done. Now you've got so many options now, right? Look at this. You, you want to put a little of that on the back of your neck, you watch out in the house, I'll tell you that. Okay. Look at how nice this is now. Put that on toast in the morning. Oh! Okay. But now your options are just endless. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And Jeremy Buchanan, that is your axe yeah. that I'm swinging right there. It's wrapped up and in the mail, brother. I wish Congratulations. How strong, you, man. how strong he is. Look at him, friends. Dinner at 6.30, Wendy says. Oh, okay, at the bold night. What time is it? Okay. Look at Tyler go, he can't stop, friends. You see, he's got, he's got this ax in his hands. Watch that come out of there. See how nice that come out, Ty? Like nothing. Like drive it straight in, Tyler. Take, go straight in in the middle of that thing. Just drive it. Now that, you would think that's gonna be a bugger to get out. One crack out the back of that'll come right out. Look at that. That's because of the profile, Tyler. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Like I'm, you know, we're not putting the ham on, friends. It's it's the straight goods. These axes are lovely, and I see guys destroying them. They destroy the handles on them by overstriking and doing weird things. You just take hit what's closest to you. Just find your way around the log. And <laughs>